Now here the question is, let L1, L2 and L3 be the lengths of tangents drawn from the point to the circles respectively and if we are given L1 to the power 4 equals L2, L3 square plus 16 then locus of P are the curves C1 which is a straight line and C2 which is a circle. So first we'll simplify this. Now suppose this point P is alpha beta then we know that L1 square it will be alpha square plus beta square minus 4 L2 square will be alpha square plus beta square minus 4 alpha and L3 square will be alpha square plus beta square minus 4 beta. Now we are given that L1 to the power 4 that means alpha square plus beta square minus 4 whole square it is equal to alpha square plus beta square minus 4 alpha into alpha square plus beta square minus 4 beta plus 16. Now we will take this as first term and minus 4 as second term we can write this as alpha square plus beta square whole square plus 16 minus 8 alpha square plus beta square and here also we will take this as one term so it will be this alpha square plus beta square whole square minus 4 alpha plus beta into alpha square plus beta square and then plus 16 alpha beta plus 16. Now here alpha square plus beta square will cancel and this 16 will also cancel. Now we will take 8 alpha plus beta whole square on the right hand side then we can write this is 8 alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha plus beta into alpha square plus beta square equals 0 and here we will take 4 common then we can write alpha plus beta into 2 alpha plus 2 beta minus alpha square minus beta square equals to 0. So the required locus it is either this straight line x plus y equals to 0 which is given as this curve c1 or the circle c2 which is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y equals 0. Now this first question is circumcenter of the triangle formed by c1 and other two lines which are at an angle of 45 degrees with c1 and tangent to c2 is. So we have this circle whose center is at 1 comma 1 and radius is root 2. So it will be this circle passing through origin center at 1 comma 1. And we also have this line x plus y equals 0. If we look at equation of tangent to this circle at 0 comma 0, it will be this 0x plus 0y minus 2 x plus 0 upon 2 and minus 2 y plus 0 upon 2 equals 0. We will get this equation as x plus y equals to 0. So basically this c1 it is tangent to this circle at origin. So we have this line which is c1. And this equation is x plus y equals 0 and here this angle is 45 degrees. Now the lines which makes an angle 45 degrees with c1 there will be lines which are parallel to x axis and y axis. So we will have these two lines. So we are talking about this triangle. Now suppose this is a b c. Now this angle a it is 90 degrees then basically it is midpoint of BC so this is midpoint of BC which is circumcenter of this triangle ABC and clearly midpoint of BC is at origin so circumcenter of this triangle ABC it is origin and that's your option B we can work this out also now we know that this is 45 
this is 45. Now equation of this line is x equals 1 plus root 2. And equation of this line is y equals 1 plus root 2. So coordinate of this point A is 1 plus root 2 and 1 plus root 2. Now for this line, if we put x as 1 plus root 2, we'll get y as minus 1 plus root 2. So it'll be 1 plus root 2 comma minus 1 plus root 2. And here, you know, y is 1 plus root 2. And we put y as 1 plus root 2, x is minus 1 plus root 2. And if we find its midpoint, it will be at origin. So, which is again, same as this option B. Now, this second question is, if S1, S2 and S3 are three circles congruent to C2 and touch both C1 and C2, then area of triangle formed by joining centers of S1, S2 and S3 is. So now basically we have C1 and C2 and it says we have three circles which are congruent to this C1 and which touches both C1 and C2. So one of the circle will be drawn like this. And since it is congruent, it will have same radius and there is a circle will be drawn like this and we have this third circle which should be drawn like this and suppose their centers are S1, S2 and S3. Now since these circles they have same radius we can join line joining these centers and this is a perpendicular. Now this point is supposed P. Then we know that S1 P is 2 R and radius of both the circle is root 2. So there will be 2 root 2 and S2 S3 it is 4 R which is 4 root 2. Then area of this triangle will be this 1 by 2, 2 root 2 into 4 root 2 which is simply 8 square units. So area of this triangle is 8 square units and that's your option C.